Aye. Back on the rotation. And a warm welcome to one and all. For those of you who have not seen me before, my name is Langers, and I am the very knackered scruffy trader. Just been up early, doing a few jobs. It's now ten to seven, and I'm about to carry on with the live testing of the rotation. Simple strategy to maybe put one trade on a day before you go to work, and hopefully have a little bit of money at the end of it. If that sounds good and you want to see this journey, click that little subscribe button, share the video, smash the like, all that good stuff. Now, we're quite a way into this. I've been doing it a little while. And the about to open up the charts uh, to start putting some orders on. Because I don't put orders on before 7 o'clock simply because of spreads. It costs too much. Uh... And the idea is to kind of set and forget of sorts. Anyway, let's have a look, see where we're up to. Right, so we're we ready. This morning we are going to be going long. Now I am half expecting the price to come back on itself a little bit. But what I'm going to do is just set the order in place for it to run up. Now, the scores on the doors, we kind of redeemed ourselves a little bit yesterday. Uh, we got a half decent return, which was good when we first started this in June, but it wasn't so good in July. Uh, it was a hard, hard month. We almost gave all of our profits back. Uh, but I needed to do it to start ironing some of the problems out with this strategy because I need to nail it down. I'm expecting it to lose, but when it does, I want the wins to be outweighing those, those losses. So this morning, uh, we're on the fourth. We've increased quite well to there. Still got a relatively tough stop on it just simply because of the balance um, the, the problem with small balance accounts is um, you've got no other option to take risk on uh, it's just part and parcel of the game which is why I need to get this nailed down so that we are in a reasonably strong position to um, well get through this. I mean the idea is to trade this up to about a thousand pounds. If I can get it up to two thousand amazing. But for the purpose of the test, as soon as I've broke a thousand it's kind of doubled its money. Because I started this with five hundred quid. So got my sheets filled in, uh little targets, etc. And now it's just a case of wit. So it's, what time is it? It's five to seven. Uh, I've got it all marked up. Know roughly what I'm looking to get out of it. And anyway, there we go. So I'm going to have a coffee. And you'll start seeing the orders come in. We'll, we'll be placing the orders kind of around this area here. You know, sort of between this level. With the idea of moving up over. So... See what we get.
Okay, guys, job done. Uh, hardly even look back. So maybe this is starting to fall into place and it has rattled right up the target. Hit the first key point, which I need to scale out. I only kind of do that if I'm sitting in front of it though. Um, so my target's still conservative, but if I'm in it, and anyway, so it's another part of the puzzle, sort of. So let's have a look, see where we ended up for the day. I know it doesn't look great, but what you've got to remember is I'm dealing with pennies. And over the last couple of days, it's made 50 quid. So tell me a bank that would give you that, or sort of an initial investment of 66p, and then today it was 69p. Um, and that's it. And then as this account grows, that'll become a pound and then maybe it's two pounds and then suddenly we're not getting 50 quid anymore you're getting 100 pounds maybe it's 200 pounds and that's the idea behind it so let us have a look and we'll just pop the sheet on and we shall see so we scaled that bit which is there so that was 10 p and that gave us another five. Okay, so I am quite happy with that. And drop that in. There we go. So August is off to a flyer. <laughs> We've uh, got two winning days. Still a long way to go, though, guys. Still a long way to go. But we're edging up uh, we've achieved more than 15 pips uh, which is I should have put in should have put in there there we are uh, the idea of the 15 pips is every time you do more than 15 pips on a day you're allowed to increase your balance because what I'm actually trying to work to is uh, this compound plan uh, once I've made that con, you can see it's sort of edging up ever so slightly. Um, I'll be able to move it over into one of these, which is a wage maker. And that's kind of when it gets up into the pound situation. I'll be able to start turning it into a wage. All right? And what these little parts of the sheet are, they're just guides in order to keep you on track as to what you want. Okay. So nice and simple. All right. Happy, happy days, happy days. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee because it's only eight o'clock. I don't start trading my normal accounts till roughly about nine ish. And why is that? Well, as you just saw, a massive burst at eight o'clock. It's because of that massive burst at eight o'clock. Uh, I like to see what happens and let the dust settle. However, the strategy that I'm working on with this, it's based on an impulse move um, prior to the eight o'clock open. And the idea is to get in and get out and hopefully make some money, which we have this morning. So long as it's happy boy. It was a hard month last month. Let's just hope this one's a bit better. Anyway, do it all again tomorrow. So trade well. The risk managed, but above all, do what you love, and the money you'll fall. See you all the next one.